Hello there, and welcome to BOI Weekly, the one-stop program serving you the activities of the bank of industry and how its mandate has been executed to transform Nigeria's industrial sector. Now, the business development support providers, also known as SME consultants, remain key stakeholders in advancing the bank's core responsibility of providing long-term financial and business support services to small and medium enterprises. In the past week, the business development arm of the bank held interactive sessions with these strategic partners in Abuja and in Lagos. The session aimed at deepening their understanding of the workings of BOI. It also served as some sort of capacity building for participants to upscale their service to SMEs. Today, on the program, we bring you the details of the forum in Lagos. I am Ayotunde Balogun, and I'll be back shortly. Have you ever imagined a time when you could apply for and get a loan from the comfort of your bedroom? Or prayed that the processing time was shorter? Well, it is now a reality with the fast and swift Bank of Industry Real-Time Online Loan Application Initiative. The BOI Online Loan Application Portal is designed to deliver access and convenience to prospecting SME customers by ensuring that applicants need not have to physically visit the bank. Applicants simply have to submit all necessary documents via the online portal with the liberty to select their preferred BOI state office wherein their applications will be processed. How it works? Simply search the keyword Bank of Industry and download your mobile app from Play Store for Android users, BlackBerry App World for BlackBerry users and Apple Store for iPhone users. Click on the Apply button. Click on Register to register your account. A verification link and tracking code will be sent to your registered email address. Click on the verification link to facilitate login. Once logged in, you can complete your application, submit and click on continue to start tracking your loan application. An email will be sent to your email address confirming receipt of the application. With this initiative, BOI has reduced its loan application and processing turnaround time. Start applying for your loan right away. Bank of Industry, transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. The Bank of Industry 2019 BDSP Summit in Lagos has business development service providers from states in the South-South, Southeast, and Southwest regions. The meeting is about stock taking, reorientation, and for BDSPs to get more understanding about the strategic focus of the Bank of Industry. We will include in our BOI's Head of Business Development, Mrs. Betsy Obaseki, puts this in clear perspective in her opening statement. She takes the audience through the foundation of the Bank of Industry, offering a broad understanding of its vision and mission and the role of BDSPs in actualizing them. We are a government-owned bank set up to help industrialize and develop our country and our economy. Is that clear? Yes. We are lovers of Nigeria. Who want to see Nigeria become like Malaysia and like China and like Brazil and America? For us in the Bank of Industry, in line with our owners, which is the federal government, our aim and drive is to ac accelerate and catalyze economic activity in the country, which eventually would, you know, boil down to getting as many people as possible engaged in one form of enterprise or the other, okay? So our major deliverable and bottom line is not with how much money or profits we make, but it is in diverse forms in how many new um, companies that we have supported to create, how many old ones we have helped to rejuvenate, how many ailing ones we have resuscitated, okay, and how many people we have gotten employed. BOI strategic areas of providing financing for small and medium enterprises include agro and food processing, oil and gas, solid minerals, healthcare and petrochemicals. 
Others are engineering and technology, creative industries, renewable energy, women, and youth. The Business Development Service Provider Scheme is a pool of consultants engaged by the Bank of Industry to reach out to prospective SMEs who require debt funding for either starting a business or for expansion purposes. There are 310 BDSPs representing the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory and are distributed across the six geopolitical zones, the Southwest having the highest number. The national BDSPs engage business proposals in any location in the country. In five years... In reviewing their performance from 2015 to 2019, the Head of Business Development reveals a significant slide in loan application approval and disbursement between January and November 2019. Out of 310 BDSPs in five years, you have earned a total, total success fees of 207 million. I don't think that is good performance. For your own self, look at yourselves. Like I said, one BDSP alone should be earning that amount. Don't you think so? This is business for you. I'm reviewing your performance, your own balance sheets, your individual balance sheets is what we are looking at here. If you were to come to BOI to come and take loan yourself, I would say bring your track record. You see, how will you be looking? Five years. Divide 207. Million, call it 108 million by 310. How much will it be per BDSP? You haven't earned much. Do you agree with me or not? And out of that 207, over half of it, a little over half of it, was paid between last year and this year, which means that the activity really picked up from last year. So prior to then, there was hardly any activity. Okay, so that means that there's room for improvement. It's like you just, you've been revving, revving your engine since 2014, and now you are in gear one. So you need to enter gear two from 2020. You must enter gear two and rev it up to gear three before the year ends. Okay, which means we are looking to you performing, doing at least 350 million next year. In one year, you should be able to do 350 million. There are, however, some positives from the performance. In the period under review, the BDSPs carried out quality transactions. Prospects you have brought us, the businesses you brought us, are all practically mostly, all nearly all doing well. Charts 92% of your transactions are performing. Only a small fraction of 8% is not performing, and that is so much in line with the standards for the bank itself. That also shows that you are taking your time to get us good quality transactions. What we want you to do is to just accelerate. Eh? Now that you have seen this performance, it means that you've gotten the hang of it. You have acquired the skill. You now you know how to get good deals. So you've acquired the skill. So just accelerate and do more. As specified in the Memorandum of Understanding, SME consultants are required to collaborate with BOI to identify credible SMEs that need financing, assist SMEs in developing bankable business plans and proposals towards accessing finance at BOI. Collaborate with BOI to conduct periodic post-finance monitoring of the SMEs as required. Other services are to provide mentorship, hand-holding, finance advice, and encourage SMEs to inculcate best practices, conduct capacity-building programs for prospective and current customers of the Bank of Industry based on identified gaps in order to address their deficiencies, inculcate the benefits of clustership, networking, and cooperative formation among micro-enterprises. BDSPs are also responsible in supporting SMEs in developing synergies and sustainable relationships with large enterprises, industrial buyers, and suppliers along the value chain of all priority sectors of the Nigerian economy. 
This will help them capitalize on market opportunities and increase economic profit and reward. Renowned economist and business consultant Biodra Dedikbe takes the audience on principles of lending to SMEs and monitoring of loan repayment. Loans or any forms of credit are risk assets, but they come with a double-edged sword. And the two swords are depicted in the other two sides to it. If you follow principles, and there are principles to lending, if you follow them, you succeed. But if you disregard principles or you allow greed to make you enter into fraudulent alliances or practices, then it results in failure. Mr. Adedipe identifies three factors that must be considered by business service providers in screening for the right customers, preparing successful loan applications, and monitoring SME borrowers. So now if you talk about risk assets, they are of course on the bank's balance sheet. They also connect to the income statement. And of course, one of the key things, in fact, that's the title of a book written on banking. The book is titled High Performing Banks. And it says one notable thing about them is that they have healthy net interest margins, high performing banks. So it then means if a bank will be high performing, it must have very strong credit portfolio that is also highly productive in terms of the interest margin. The second plank of what you need to also give attention to as a BDSP is the business environment. But that is the environment in context of which this borrower operates. That is where he or she will also generate the cash with which to pay back. In fact, in banking, what we say we do when we analyze credit is we actually analyze the source of repayment. You need knowledge of the economy. You also need knowledge of the industry where the borrower is. Now, the 18 principles of common sense lending that I mentioned says, one of them says, don't lend to a business you don't understand. Which means, if you are bringing any transactions to BOI, you must understand it yourself because every business, every industry has its own dynamics and peculiarities. So it becomes easier, therefore, to be successful in an industry you understand so well. Beyond that also, you need skills and also, you need to know the principles. And very important also is integrity. Quick means you combine three things there. Knowledge is one, exposure is another, and then intuition. Have you ever imagined a time when you could apply for and get a loan from the comfort of your bedroom? Or prayed that the processing time was shorter? Well, it is now a reality with the fast and swift Bank of Industry Real-Time Online Loan Application Initiative. The BOI Online Loan Application Portal is designed to deliver access and convenience to prospecting SME customers by ensuring that applicants need not have to physically visit the bank. Applicants simply have to submit all necessary documents via the online portal with the liberty to select their preferred BOI state office wherein their applications will be processed. How it works? Simply search the keyword Bank of Industry and download your mobile app from Play Store for Android users, BlackBerry App World for BlackBerry users and Apple Store for iPhone users. Click on the Apply button. Click on Register to register your account. A verification link and tracking code will be sent to your registered email address. Click on the verification link to facilitate login. Once logged in, you can complete your application, submit and click on Continue to start tracking your loan application. An email will be sent to your email address confirming receipt of the application. With this initiative, BOI has reduced its loan application and processing turnaround time. Start applying for your loan right away. Bank of Industry, transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. Welcome back. Now we've been looking at the 2019 Summit for Business Development Support Providers in Lagos. 
Let's take you back for more on how BOI is using BDSPs to help enterprises transcend from small to medium and then large enterprises. Another important aspect to note is how economic conditions affect investments in certain businesses. Most businesses are cyclical in nature. Cyclical in the sense that whenever the economy is booming, it is good business for them. And most businesses are like that. Whenever the economy goes down, most people also complain. So when a business behaves like that, we say that business is cyclical. So quick means, whenever the economy is booming, the borrower is buoyant. He doesn't have difficulty generating cash with which we pay back the loan. All right? But for such a person, once the economy begins to slow down, trouble also comes. So if the economy goes all the way down, it becomes cash trapped, and then it won't be able to pay the back the loan. And then this is an interesting one. There are some businesses that we say are non-cyclical. That means if the economy is booming, their business doesn't go all the way up. They can experience a little lift. And when the economy goes all the way down, they don't follow it. Business remains almost just a little dampened, but not all the way. At any point in time, the sector that are dominant in contributing to GDP usually throw up the most opportunities. So you are now looking for opportunities. Which sectors do we go to? Then beyond the sectors that are dominant, there are also those we call the growth sectors of the economy. So what then do we want to do? We are working in line with the mandate of BOI, which is to establish and then to expand, diversify, and modernize existing ones, and then also to rehabilitate existing ones that are troubled. Those are the three categories of the kind of prospects BOI expects you to bring. When the principles of common sense lending are observed, loan defaults are minimized. If any one principle is disregarded, it can vitiate an otherwise good loan and put all the stakeholders of BOI, including the BDSP, in trouble. So ultimately then, whether a loan performs or not, you are the one that decides. The presentations elicit questions and comments. BDSPs want clarification regarding excessive charges and turnaround time for loan applications. As it is currently, the turnaround time for any loan application, be it SME, micro, early, we have been able to achieve in the bank to date six weeks. And that is from loan application receipt, receipt to approval. Okay? Now, after approval, between approval and disbursement is where the bottleneck is. The major um, obstacle we have found has to do with BGs. Yes. So it's either in the customer's hands or it's in the BG providing bank's hands. Yeah. Not in BOI's purview. So BG providing banks should not tell you that they're waiting for BOI to finish appraisal. We have the check time sheets ready and time sheet usually comes out immediately. 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 A few days maximum from receipt of your application. And you can take it around to your BG providing bank and they begin to do their own appraisal. <laughs> and another thing you must understand is that these commercial banks, we are working with them to provide the guarantee because they are the ones who've got the money of your customers. Yeah. The head of SME Credit attends to issues on cash flow rejection and documentations needed to facilitate the approval of transactions. As a BDSP, we are treating startups. The importance of cash flow projection cannot be overemphasized because really that is the only, the only criteria or assurance since there is no audited financials for existing companies. So we need to be very granular for existing businesses. What are the existing jobs? Both uh, permanent staff and casual workers. You know? when, when the business is, you know, when they get the BI loan and they do the uh, expansion, will it create additional jobs? We need to know that as well. So those four information is important in the visibility report. If it doesn't have it, it is it is a heavily deficient because we need that information and we keep records of it 
and we do report to the government. At a separate interview, some of the development service providers explain some of the bottlenecks in their service to customers. BDSPs have the challenge of going to the places that are unreached. You know the challenge of infrastructure in the country today. The roads are so bad and you have to go to them. Having gotten this, having gotten this client, you have to package them and therefore you, you require power. You know where power, how the challenge of power is in the country, where you have to spend a lot of money on generators. And therefore, because of this, the margin that the BDSPs make is becoming tiny and tiny, thinner and thinner every day. And therefore, that is why they clamor for the review of the remuneration of the BDSPs. It has become very, very cogent. It is something that is germane. And they've promised that they're going to look into that area to make it much more worth the while for the BDSPs because marketing the services is becoming very challenging. Some of the bottlenecks that we do have around security for um, uh, the, the customers, which from, from the part that I come from in Oshun, we are doing very well because uh, the BOI actually has um, a relationship, a, an existing relationship with the, with the government whereby anybody that is processing bank of industry loan just need to process um, the CFO alongside and give us a file and, and we get the CFO out. But in securing bank guarantee is where we are having major issues because of the changes to the customers and the, and the um, turnaround time in delivering the customer service to, to the customers. Okay. Do you yeah. think officials of bank of industry here have been able to um, deal with the problem you mentioned? No, definitely. They actually address it very correctly and um, it actually meets what we are expecting. Um, personally, it meets what I'm expecting because um, now we've told them the issues, they've told us, told us what they are going to do about it and what they are doing about it. And part of it is what, what they are doing with the Af African Development Bank in bringing um, a part uh, an initiative of being a, a part guarantee. So those are, those are welcome initiatives that uh, we improve a lot of process. The interactive session is worthwhile after all. Participants are up it about the advantages it will add to their services. Really hearing the sort of challenges that the BDS BDSPs have faced in terms of securing financing for the MSME sector, they have genuinely shown their interest in addressing the concerns to make sure that we do make that impact in that space. So for us, we're really taking away um, a renewed confidence that the bank of industry is committed to ensuring that you know, there is increased um, opportunities for the SME space, MSME space, that indeed job creation is uh, provided and that indeed MSMEs are able to access financing. So all those challenges they've identified, we've identified collectively today, they have shown their commitment to actually dealing with them one-on-one. -on -one. So I think it's something that uh, is very, very profitable for the BDSPs because this is going to improve our technical abilities in terms of uh, appraising projects and getting quality projects to the bank to make sure that the clients that come to the bank are those that are ready for appraisal and for disbursement of funds. Certainly, a good platform to strengthen the relationship and renew the commitment between the Bank of Industry and these business development service providers. From here, expectations from participants will be geared towards profitability and improvement of the SME sector. Interesting. Or well, the Bank of Industry will continue to leverage on partnerships to ensure that indigenous businesses get the relevant technical and even financial support that keep them running in a sustainable manner. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, rest assured that help is certainly waiting for you. Contact the Bank of Industry today to see how you can benefit. You can also visit the website, that's boi.ng, or call at any BOI branches close to you. You can as well apply for BOI loans online. Just download the BOI SME loan app from the Google Play Store and simply follow the instructions. Let's keep the conversation going by tweeting at KY Alayode. That will be our package for today, and many thanks for watching, and do have yourselves a wonderful Christmas ahead. I am Ayotunde Balogun. Bye for now.